Well now, hello everybody and welcome back to Retro Gamer Diaries. Today we're going to have a retro look at the 1980s in television TV commercials. In television is a home video game console released by Mattel Electronics in 1979. The development of this console began in 1977. That's the same year as the launch of its main competitor, the Atari 2600. Mattel drove a hard and ambitious campaign against the Atari 2600, with George Plimpton, who was widely known for his sports writing and journalism, as well as his posh American accent. So let's have a look at these in television commercials with this posh American, yeah? I'll try almost anything. So when Mattel Electronics asked me to compare their in television games with Atari, I gave it a try. I compared Atari baseball with in television and found in television played much more like real baseball. Then I compared Atari football with in television. Again, in television played more like the real game. In my opinion, if you try them both, there's only one conclusion you can come to in television from Mattel Electronics. Here's an easy question for you. Which of these games is the closest thing to the real thing? A, in television, Major League Baseball. B, Atari Baseball. Here they are again, close up. A, in television. B, Atari. If you thought A, in television, you're absolutely correct. You see, I told you this question was easy. When it comes to space games, nobody compares to Atari. Excuse me, have you compared them to Intellivision? Intellivision? Sure, they've got great space games, like Intellivision Space Battle. I didn't know. And now there's Space Armada and the Incredible Astro Smash. I didn't know. Here, compare for yourself. Intellivision Space Games from Mattel Electronics. Once you compare, you'll know. Over the years, I've played some of the most challenging golf courses in the world, including this one, in television PGA Golf. From tee to green, the gameplay is incredibly realistic. With Atari Golf, on the other hand, the gameplay is rather simplistic, and their course, not quite up to par. If you compare these two games, I think you'll find that in television plays more like the real thing. In television from Mattel Electronics. <laughs> Who better than baseball fans to compare baseball games? First, Atari Home Run Baseball. Where's the diamond? Hey, there's only four players. Now, in television, Major League Baseball. <laughs> What'd you think? He was up by a mile. <laughs> by a mile. In television baseball, I think it's the closest thing to the real thing. Football fans will sit through almost anything to watch a good football game. Here's in television, NFL football. Come on! Oh. Now for Atari football. Hey, where'd everybody go? In television football, I think it's the closest thing to the real thing. I've been comparing the exciting new in television space game Star Strike with one of the most popular Atari games, Asteroid. Star Strike has moving images that make the game appear three-dimensional. Asteroids doesn't. And Star Strike features our most exciting visual effect, total destruction of a planet. This is what the other game offers, which is why after Star Strike, Asteroids left me rather flat. Star Strike, new for in television from Mattel Electronics. Hey! Mr. In Television. Plimpton. I bet it's great doing all those in television commercials. I bet you get to keep all the games. Me and my friends like Night Stalker the best. Bats are real scary. Here, your friends won't have this new one. Lock and Chase. They won't believe this. Would you autograph it for me? Certainly. What's your name? My name? Mattel Electronics would like to... Mr. Intellivision, 
How come all you ever talk about are sports games? Sorry? And television now has games like the arcade. I know. Rock and Chase. Absolutely. Tron Deadly Bits. Excellent. Right. Night Stalker. Awesome robot. Oh, glad you like them. Sorry. I can't hang around here. I'm going home to play my Intellivision. Who was that kid? Floyd here claims to have had a close encounter. Claim? I saw So it. we wanted to get his reaction to Intellivision space battle. That's it! That's it! It happened just like that! There's a ship that took me in! Go <laughs> in those explosions! I'll never forget it, Mr. Plinkin! Thank you, Floyd. In television space battle, you may never come closer to a close encounter. Ain't you listening? Dear Mr. Plimpton, I'd like to get an Intellivision like my friends. I'd really like an Intellivoice module too. But aren't they expensive? Dear Henry, I have good news for you. First of all, the people at Mattel Electronics have drastically reduced the size and the price of Intellivision. Secondly, if you buy your Intellivision between now and October 31st, you'll get an Intellivoice module by mail at no extra charge. Two great reasons to buy Intellivision now.